K Block, a still prison high security unit. There is no angry yelling or banging on doors here. This is home to the Mexican Emmy, the Mexican Mafia. With more than 1,500 members in Texas prisons alone, they are considered the largest prison gang in the country and one of the most violent, specializing in drug dealing and contract assassinations. I talked with members of the gang in their cells on K Block. This is a most uh, well behaved uh, cell block on the unit. And the main reason is that uh, we discipline ourselves. We, we, we try to emphasize to all our members to have respect for the officers because that will minimize problems for us and for them. We just want to do our time. Joe Saldivar is a member of the gang who has been in administrative segregation for 16 years. Now, you're, you're in here, those, those of you who are members of the Mexican Emmy are in here not because you have assaulted a guard or not necessarily because of any violence while you were in prison population, but simply because you are members of a prison gang. Anybody who was, who was known or suspected of being a, being a gang member was segregated. But the, uh, for the last four or five years, all our leaders have been engaged in is nothing more than establishing peaceful relations with any, every, everybody in prison. But the fact of the matter is, you men are a family. You are not only loyal to one another because you want to be, there are times when you are loyal to one another because the consequences of disloyalty, I mean, I've read your constitution, the consequences of disloyalty are death. Theoretically. I'd be a dead man. They're, they're, they're supposed to be dead men, but there's, uh, there's cell blocks full of uh, exes, not only from our family, but from other families. And it's, it's practically impossible. To, to carry out a murder the, the way you, you, uh, you, you, uh, you contemplate. Yeah, so maybe one day I'll be out on the street again. I mean, people well, maybe have, then people, somebody people have long memories, right? That has, that, that's happening. I can't deny that. You've been in here how many years? Seven, about 17 years. 17 years in prison. How many years in, in ad sec? About 16. Explain to me, I mean, you're a very eloquent and apparently a well-read man. Explain to me how a man survives that and keeps his sanity, as you clearly have. Well, I just keep my mind occupied on, on whatever I paint, I draw, I write, I read, and I exercise and I keep active. I'm 55 years old and I try to keep in shape. Are you in for life? I've got a life sentence. And... Uh, uh, I'm trying to make parole. Nobody seems to make parole. Either. No, there's no more parole in Texas. And uh, I don't know, I guess I'm stuck in here. Yeah, I've, I've run into several men like you here, Joe, who are clearly very intelligent men, who have the, the self-discipline to teach themselves something that on the outside you would have had to go to law school to learn. And I guess the sad question is, why the hell didn't you do it when you were on the outside and when you had the chance to do it? I guess if we, we, we had that answer, we wouldn't be here. Uh, I don't understand it myself. I don't know it. I mean, just think, if you'd gone to law school, you could be on the outside helping get other young men out of here, right? Yes, sir. One young man on cell block K who may see the outside of prison before growing old is Speedy Garza, up for a parole hearing in June and general release in the year 2001. Your family was here a few days ago to visit you. Yes. Does that make it easier or harder when you've seen the family? Well, it's really hard. I can't show that I'm afraid or that I'm scared or that I miss them or that I'm tired of being in this place. I, just, I can't show very many emotions at that time. I have to try and be strong so that they can be strong. So I try my best to keep a smile on my face and make them, make them think that, well, everything is okay. While Speedy Garza meets with his family, nearby, a mother meets with her son. He has joined the Ku Klux Klan since coming to prison. Their story, when we come back. <laughs> 